Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at building a relatively expensive FLIR macro lens on the cheap. Let's take a look. In order to maximize the utility and cost effectiveness of this design, the holder and the lens were all consumed in only three pieces. A holding piece, the lens itself, and then a locking clasp that falls into a little tongue and groove system. The lens itself is contained by a small tension ring that fits inside this tongue and groove system and snugly around the lens to prevent any kind of vibration or movement. Looking through the lens highlights its 101.6 mm focal length, showing great detail at a very small distance, fitting perfectly in that macro lens category. For this application, I went with a high quality zinc selenide material at a diameter of 20 mm and a focal length of 101.6 mm, giving me the perfect size and zoom level of my image, while providing a high quality thermal image accuracy. Installing the lens into the holder is as simple as sliding in the lens material itself and then installing the locking ring on top. Installing the lens is as simple as depressing the three locking fingers and then inserting the lens into the opening at the front of the FLIR E4. Exploiting the friction of the thermoelastomer coating on the front of the camera, the device can hold very snugly and very reliably in place even while using it in intense applications. The left of your screen is a real image of the stock thermal camera. Installing the lens demonstrates drastically just how incredible the lens improves our visual image quality. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero, which is smaller than that of a credit card. Around that package are 0201 bypass capacitors. That really is pretty incredible detail from a camera like this at this kind of price point. King board level thermal analysis, a true reality for the hobbyist or prosumer. For a total price of less than $50, I can fully say that I couldn't be more happier with the results. Thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful day.